Hi everyone, and welcome back to Santa Barbara Wargaming's Let's Play of the Dark Souls board game. This is Daclopin, Ironmonger, and we're here to clear the next room. Isn't it riveting and exciting? I'm excited. Aren't you thrilled? I'm so thrilled. Right I am. Now. I'm very it's thrilled. Be great. I'm not thrilled to uh, to get pushed or move. Oh, I'm ready to get uh, fucked. To those those booby trap uh, nodes, boobies. <laughs> I was gonna say hexes. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So uh, you want to go ahead and. Try our next uh, yeah. encounter. Yeah, we'll okay. try the next encounter. So you're first player. I am now first player and I have aggro. Um, so we we've got we've got we souls. Get to choose we've got souls now. aggro every time, but I'm not sure. I'm yeah, not sure. well, we've got souls now. We've got a total of four souls. Yep. So you want to take those out of the cash? And how many souls does it take to level up? Um, it takes for tier one. It takes two. Uh, for tier two, it takes four. For tier three, it takes eight. Woo. It's a spicy meatball. That's a spicy meatball. Okay. But we also get, um, wait, do we get treasure for clearing the room? Not unless I can't treasure. remember, not unless there's a chest, right? So for each, so if we wanted to, we could just spend souls. And for each soul that we spend, we get to flip a treasure card. It's in our inventory from there on. And we can equip it uh, between encounters however we want. So, do you want to? I would recommend. I think we should go to the other level one room. To okay. Be go well, the first thing that. that we do is when we finish the encounter, we clear our endurance force. Yes. Use. I'm not, I don't know about that. I'm not planning to get hit ever again in this game. Yeah, <laughs> never. Okay. All right. So we've yeah, got four good. souls in the cache. Um, we've got no treasure cards revealed except for the starting equipment that we have. Um, you want to go into the other? Yeah, let's one? do the other level one. Then. Okay. All right. So flip that over, and we've got the Forgotten, which is almost exactly the same as last time, except it's kind of a mirror match. So we've got a bow silver knight, and then two hollow soldiers. Oh, and a barrel. And a barrel, and it's a trap room. Ooh, a trap room. Trap rooms are no good. So with the trap room, you put trap tiles on all of the available spaces? Uh, everything except wall spaces. Okay, so all the... So nothing adjacent to so a door. So it'll just be those three in the middle there. You would think with all the amount of time we spent setting this up that we would be a little bit better. Well, this is our first Let's Play board game video. That's true. I think. It, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, God. Stumbling drunk hollows. Fucking hollows, man. No wonder Lofter went to shit. I'm pretty sure. It's, all right. That's... That's that. Yeah, and, and then, then we, we put, put trap, trap tokens. tiles. We put down trap tiles randomly. So you've got a bunch of trap tiles. You basically mix them all up. Sorry. Right. And then you randomly put them on unoccupied and not adjacent to door squares. So they can be door or ready. wall. The door. Okay. The door. So, so we'll... it's not just three right. traps. So it'll be six traps. Yeah. Right. It'll be this one, yeah. this one. So technically, you can see I just grabbed a handful. Technically, what you're supposed to do is just take all of them and like mix them up. I, I wish that there was a trap deck. I've seen some good people that have made some trap cards where it's basically just that. You use the trap token. And then they take the stuff from the, the back of them, the, the uh, information, and they do that. Uh, I might end up doing that just because this is kind of a pain. Yeah. That's adjacent to a door. It's a fog wall. Okay, so that's it. Oh, no, the purple one. You don't put them on the purple ones, you put them on unoccupied or, or non special notes. Okay. Cool. I just, I just set that over there. Okay. All so right, so you move in first. I'll move in first. All right, I'll then I'm, I'm going to move in. 
Now, kind of like the Silver Knight Swordsman, he has an AoE explosion, so I am going to move in as well, but not in the same note, because I don't want both of us taking double hits twice, if, if that's what it ends up happening. Right. So, as you can see, uh, Daclathan as the Herald, he's got aggro as well as the uh, Sunbro emblem, so he's, he's first player. Yep. Um, so the first thing that we do is we look at what enemies we have. So we've got a basic hollow soldier. Mm-hmm. Which... We have two of those. We have two of those. We only have the, the one card to account for both of them. And then we've got the Silver Knight Great Bowman. The Silver Knight Great Bowman, he is going to go after the hollow soldiers because he's got a enemy rating. I can't remember what <laughs> calls him. He's got, he's got a priority rating of 3, whereas the Hollow Soldiers have a priority rating of 5. So basically what's going to happen is the Hollow Soldiers are going to move up. Uh, they're not going to be able to swing, but then the Silver Knight Great Bowman, the Great Bowman will go ahead and shoot first uh, at Aggro doing 4 damage, and then he's going to back away from Aggro one node. So Hollow Soldiers, let's go! Alright, so the first one's going to activate. Yeah. And he's going to move forward towards me, one square, or yep. one node. Not into the, uh... Not, no, in, not in the barrel? Not in the barrel. Okay, so he'll move... He'll move or, I can't remember if he can move into the barrel. We'll say he can move into the barrel. Okay. I think that he can just move into the barrel. So he's going to move into the barrel, and then the second hollow soldier is going to move into the barrel node as well. And now the silver knight great bowman, he is going to shoot first. Ah, He's going to shoot he first. shoots first and okay. then moves. So this is when aggro really like matters. We're we're equidistant. So both the, myself as the warrior and Daclofen as the herald were equidistant. Um, I have the higher taunt, but aggro is going to take priority over the taunt. So and he's going to shoot at Daclofen first. Just a note: um, we uh, the actual the hollow swordsman actually moved towards the closest enemy, not the ones of not towards aggro. Okay. So, he's going to go ahead and shoot you for four, hitting everybody in the node. Again, as I said in the last episode, uh, I did not move in there because I didn't want to get hit because he has um, cleave. It's effectively cleave. You can't remember what they call it. So, he does four damage. Now, the Herald has... Um, I have one armor die for my shield, and I have one armor die for my armor. Again, and again, this is this is physical. Right. Yeah. So unlike the crossbowman, this guy shoots physical he damage. He shoots physical damage. Okay, and here we go. So four minus Ooh, three. three. So I only take, take one damage. One damage. So we're going to go ahead and you take wound, basically, and now he's going to back away from aggro one. Now they can go on to booby traps nodes, and it's not going to trigger the booby trap nodes. It's only heroes like Iron Longer and Dak and yep. that trigger booby traps. Indeed. Okay. All right. And so now Harold gets to go, or Harry, or whatever Dak gets to go. So, All right. So I'm going to move up to the side of the wall here to try to flank the guy, and I also don't want to trigger any traps or get in the range of those skeletons. Because uh, they've already taken damage, and I'll have aggro when he activates again, so I'll probably take damage once more. They're hollow. This is a what are they called? Skeletons. Oh, yeah, Oops. they're hollows. Sorry, I got skeletons on the brain. Valley Rams. Alright, so uh, my spear, I get... Um, I'm going to spend three stamina and get that plus one damage, because I believe the, the our arrow boy has two armor. Yeah, he has the same stats, basically. As, as the Silver Knight. Uh, as the Silver Knight Swordsman. Okay. So I'm rolling one die plus one, and I'm looking for a two. You're looking for a two. You need well, a two to kill him. Yeah, I need a two to kill him. Wow, that's actually really difficult. You All right, do it. Here we go. Here's Trust the dice. Faith in the dice. Boom! Yes! All right. Boom. So I rolled, I rolled a two. Okay. Uh, and I kill the... Archer. Yeah, no, really yeah, no, wrong guy. Nice. Very nice. All right, cool. So, so that takes dead. a huge threat out of this encounter right off the bat. Yeah. Those guys can be, can be fucking, like, crazy. Having to chase crazy. them down from the booby traps yeah. is never fun. No. Um, all right, and so now the uh, enemies get to go again. Mm-hmm. And so they're going to move towards closest. Again, we're equidistant. We are we're equidistant. One, two... 
Um, one, two. Should we split them up? One, two. Uh, and we get to decide as players. So yeah, let's go ahead and split them up. So okay. this one, he's going to move towards me into that node, and this one, he's going to move towards that with him. Can you move that and way. attack in any order, or do you have to move and then attack? Well, I think that you can move and attack in any order. Let's find out. Yeah. So while I'm finding out, Iron Marker will take his turn. Okay. So in the beginning, there was grayness. There was there was no disparity. What? No, no, no. no. You're gonna start your turn not until the four lords no, okay. are found. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take my turn. Um. So I'm just going to go ahead, just to show you guys what happens when the trap gets triggered. Since I have no, um, since I have no rank one, uh, I, I can only get on the node that I'm in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move for free. Now, as soon as I move into this node, that's when the booby trap gets triggered. You can move. You can move before or after. Attack. Before or after. Attack. Okay, I, I thought so because, it, like, move. I never got that in war games where it's like move phase. Everybody has to move. Uh, shoot or combat phase or, or whatever. It feels very much like Napoleonic origin of tabletop war yeah. games in general. Sure. And with modern game design, you just you don't really have that. You spend an order or you get to move or shoot or it doesn't matter, right? And so as soon as I move into this node, now I'm going to trigger. So I could have passed and let him come to me, but I want to show you what happens when we have uh, booby traps triggered. So here's the booby trap. Boom. Okay, the, it does one damage and I can attempt to dodge it by spinning stamina and rolling um, one dodge dice if I have that capability. I do have that capability. I might try to go ahead and do that since there's really no no risk right now. Um, and you can't block this armor, you can only block it with a dodge. You can only block it with a dodge. Um, so, see, the, the problem is I can dodge it. I don't necessarily have to move away to do that. I can remain on the node, but I still have to spend a stamina, and I still have to make the dodge roll. So I'm going to say, screw it. It's only one damage if I don't, so I'll only be down by two. Also, I'll have eight left. I'm going to go ahead and try to dodge. So I'm just going to stamina. I'm going to take my one dodge dice. Now the dodge dice aren't that bad. I think it's a 50-50. It's yeah, it's a 50-50. So we've got three blank sides, with blank, 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 and then we've got three swoops, dodge sides. So it's 50-50. You always have to spend the stamina if you dodge. Regardless of whether it succeeds. Regardless of how many dodge you have or, or anything, regardless of how many if it succeeds or not, you have to start out by spending that stamina. So here we go. Dodge, son! Dodge! Sorry if that blew off some people's ear drums. I, I believe that is in like the two dozen games I've played, the first time I've ever dodged. Dodge. Yeah, yeah, because I don't dodge. I, yeah, I, why I would you? I tank it. It's just Dark Souls. It's just like Dark Souls 3. I just took a warrior <laughs> and I tanked it with a skill build. Okay. Um, so now I am going to, so I don't take damage from the trap. I yep. successfully dodged it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit him. Now I have my battle axe, just like in the video game, it's, it's fucking badass. Um, zero stamina cost, and I'm able to roll two black dice. Chances are, so like 66% or something that I'm going to be able to do some damage. Two black dice, I can't remember the specifics, but here we go, here we go. And you got it. Man. All kinds of good rolls. All kinds of, all kinds of good rolls. This game. Yeah, this game. You, you would have to have rolled one sword and one blank or worse. Yeah. Um, I went ahead and I was able to kill him. Now, aggro should have actually passed me. Yes. Yeah, you actually have aggro. Bad me. And again, like I said, I like to cosplay as a dark rage. Um, aggro passed me. So now. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a little dry throat. So now, um, the enemies all get to go. Yep, so, so one enemy. We have one enemy left. Um, so this is a little tricky. We're actually equidistant again. Yep. We're equidistant. Okay. So um, I think he should go for you. Well, he has to go for me. Because well, he goes to the nearest, oh, right, right, the right, highest. Right, you have the highest taunt. Right? And, and if so, we had a tide taunt, then we go to aggro. And, it, and, it, and if, it, if it all 
if everything is equal, then we get to choose. So he's going to come to me. So he doesn't do a, to a, a ton of damage, but he, but he can hurt. He does four damage. Um, if you guys remember from the last episode, I have two black on my defense dice. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these. And it's going to be four minus three. Man, dice. Roll. Nice. So hot. So I take a total of one damage. All right, and now, now Adro passes to Daclathan. Okay. So I heal two stamina. So go ahead and three. You gain two stamina by removing hits, but keep it out because I'm about to use it again. Yeah. So I'm gonna then do my heavy attack, Ooh. spend three stamina, and poke the dude in the the uh, the adjacent uh, node, which Ooh. this is adjacent here. Ooh. Yeah, even though some of the nodes, because you can't have absolute equidistance, um, like dimensions-wise, even though some of the nodes might look a little further away, um, something like that node and that node are considered to be one node, and that node and that node are considered to be one node. So it has Wait, nothing to do with nodes. the actual adjacent nodes. Right? It has nothing to do with the actual like distance on the board. It's right. just how many nodes are around that. And when we get to the episode with the boss, You'll see the bosses can do like sweeps, of, like all adjacent. It's dirty. It's, it's, it's fucking dirty, dirty. All right, all so right. I'm gonna poke him with my pokey stick, and I have a plus one, which means I can't roll a blank. If I don't roll a blank, then I kill the boy. So here we go. I'll roll a blank. Hot dice. Boom. Yes. Hot dice. All right, so we got that. Is a dead hollow soldier. Another dead hollow. So sad. And you know what that means? We gain four souls. We get four more souls. So now the trap. Is that every time we move into that space we have to roll, or how does that work? Every time we move into that space. Okay, so if we had to move around a little bit more... Or no, the, the trap... Okay, so that only matters if we uh, reset the encounter. Okay. So if we choose to go back to the bonfire and reset the encounter, or if we die and reset the encounter, um, then everything resets, the barrels unbreak. You see we did not break that barrel like we broke this barrel. Um, you will know where the traps are. So in that case, it's very similar to like... Uh, Dark Souls video game or Bloodborne and that um, a Souls game and that you know where the traps are. I haven't played Neo, so I don't know if it's there's like traps it's, or it's, yeah, it's the same. It's thing. an action RPG. It's the same thing. It's, it's, it's the same, same thing, thing, right? So we'll know it's faster and it's easier there that it does one damage and requires one dodge. Now there's some traps in here that are that are fucking dirty. Yeah, that there's are like, like some Send Fortress level traps. Yeah, that game. are I think the two or three damage require like two or three dodge. Like yeah. they, they can be really. Um, dirty, and if you're not good, like if you cannot even attempt the dodge, then then you will just take the damage. Like that's that's it, right? It's just a straight up look. You take the damage. Okay, so now um, we have to decide what we want to do. Now we have we have six souls. We have eight souls. Eight souls. We have eight souls. So. We could level up some. I would definitely some say level up and, and get some items. But do we have to spend a spark to do that? We don't have to spend a spark okay. to do that. No, we don't have to. We can only we only need to reset the encounter. Now, there's a way in the campaign system where early on, it's it's exactly like fucking grinding and farming in a video game, mm -hmm. where you uh, it requires uh, what is it two sparks? Yeah, that's it. It requires two sparks to reset, uh, or two souls to reset the spark. And so what you do is. You come into one room, you get four souls, you spend two souls, you reset the spark, and then you go into the room again, and then go into the other room. Basically, it's like infinite souls. It's kind of, if you don't want to play the game, it's a really good way where you could just be like, all right, everyone's max level, let's go fight the boss. Yeah, and we actually did that in one of the campaign, or we did a version of that. Uh, we did it in the, in, the first, in the first game of the campaign, we did that, but that's... It gets rid of all of the challenge. It gets rid of all of the challenge. It's it. It just it's the, at that point. It's like you're just playing Yahtzee with miniatures. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Okay, so we don't want that. No. So we're going to. Uh, do we want to level up first or flip some cards first? Generally, it's better to flip some cards. Yeah, I think flip some cards something. to see if we have anything okay. that we can actually level into. So do we want to spend two souls and flip some cards? Yeah, let's spend okay. two souls, flip some cards. So I remove the three token there. And I got the 
one soul that I return, so we have a total of six souls left, and we're going to look at two cards. So we get Heavy Gem and Rapier. So the Ooh. Heavy Gem requires 25 strength to infuse a weapon. It basically gives a weapon an extra black dice um, for attack. And you can see all the stats, or that was the point of it. You can see all the stats on the side. You've got strength, you've got dexterity, you've got intelligence, and you've got uh, faith. Uh, the Rapier um, has a three stamina attack that where you get to roll two blue dice. It's really good. But it has a pretty stiff requirement for dex, for dex and intelligence. Ooh. So we would both have to get up to tier two um, if we wanted to be able to use the Rapier. It's um, definitely an assassin's weapon. It's an assassin's weapon. So, the heavy gem is uh, 25. I technically have to get up to tier 2 if I want to use the heavy gem. Me as well. Um, and But and neither of us have weapons currently. That could exactly, equip them as well. And, yeah, it's, so your starting equipment, you can't... Um, augment. You can't infuse. Yeah, you can't augment. Which is weird, because, again, going back to the video game, which, I, you know, this is its own thing, and it's standing on its own with its rules that it has, but going back to the video game, some of the best weapons in the game are your starting weapons. Yeah, I mean, like the lit stick. Right, in or Souls the, the Karthus curved sword thing, the, the mercenaries curved sword. Yeah, like the, 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 the cell sword, twin sword. Yeah, they're like yeah, one of the best right. PvP weapons in the game. Yeah, well, or like in Bloodborne, where you can go through the entire game with with a hunter axe and a pistol. Yep. Like, you can just keep leveling. I mean, they're good, solid weapons. So it's yeah. kind of weird that they decided to do... But it forces that. it forces gear progression, I guess. So, you know, whatever. It's cool. It does force gear progression. And I'm just afraid that it might actually force people into doing what I talked about, where you just theory resetting the spark a right. number of times. Right. Or there should be something like you have a total of three sparks and you can reset per campaign. It would just... It would have been nice or, if, they had, if they hadn't tied... Um, gemstone upgrades to the items themselves instead of tied into the characters. The yeah. Permanent stat buffs. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Um, Alright, and so looking pretty let's, good. Let's dig again. Let's dig again? Yeah. Okay. Let's so dig again. we're, so we're going to spend, spend two more souls. Two more souls. So we have a total of four left. And we've got a what is that? The spear sword? sword? Uh, short sword? Short sword and a great axe. Ooh. And a great axe. So again, the great axe is uh, strength 32, dex 22, although you do get orange dice or you get two blue dice and, and they add to your defense. Um, short sword. What does short sword have? Uh, it has a strength requirement of 15, a dex requirement of, of 23. So neither of us could use that. Um, but it's got three black dice off of two stamina. So we, we can't use any of this equipment quite yet. Um, I, I got my eye on that great axe. Yeah, you um, should. Um, I'm definitely thinking about the right here as well. I mean, it, it, okay. it could be useful in certain encounters. So do you want uh, me I, to... I think you should spend this, the souls to level up first. To level up strength and dex? Sure. Use four souls there. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll be able to meet... Yeah, yeah. I'll just... I'll do quality here, folks. Spend two souls, spend another two souls, remove them from your soul cache. And I am at tier one for strength and dexterity. Excellent. And so all you need now is. Um, I need. One more level into tier two for strength, and you can equip it, or. Nope. I need to be tier two for both oh. strength and dexterity. Because, yeah, it's. it's I'm. I'm it's strength is 32 and dex is uh, 22, but I mean, it's a hell of a weapon. It gives you. There's a lot can, of. There's an orange be, die on there. There's an orange die on there, which is always good. It's two orange die. So okay. I can either do a big sweep or I can do two orange die for three stamina. It also gives me a blue dice on defense and I can infuse it twice. Wow. It's got two That's upgrades. Good. I like that. It's very good. Um, so what we'll probably do is. Um, the next time we get some souls, we'll probably go ahead and give him the deck with them so he can start leveling. No, up well, the next time, and... next time we get some souls, we're going to need to use so you can finish out your equipment run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. That's good. That's all good. right. So, do we want to go fight the boss next and give it a shot, or do we want to clear that second room? Um, I think we should clear the second room because let's clear the second room. You know? Let's clear. Let's clear the second room. So we're choosing to clear that room. Yeah, so let's clear we're some gonna room. give me aggro first. Yeah, we'll give you aggro this oh, time. Oh, don't forget when you finish. Yep. You go clear ahead. up all of our health and stamina. Clear your health and stamina. I like that. And 
Okay. All right, and so this next room is Temple of the Deeps. Mm. Oh Ooh. no! Oh, uh, voice. Uh, well, you know what? This isn't actually so bad. Uh, so we're gonna have four, three hollow swordsmen and two hollow crossbowmen. Oh, that's not that and bad. And a gravestone. So I know I said this game was hard, and this is where well, it starts getting difficult. Well, it generally is hard. Yeah, it, this. Well, I mean, this thing is is the the soul level one rooms are typically eh, they're hard, but like they're not that hard if you know what you're doing. When you start getting the soul level two, three, and boss rooms, that's when things start getting difficult. Oh, what's uh, what do we have? Two. So crossbow? we have we have two crossbowmen, one in each node, and then we have two swordsmen on the single sword node and one swordsman on the cross sword. Here, I'll let you go. Ahead. And then we also have a, uh, a great suit. Oh, sorry. No oh, straps. And that goes on the purple sun, bro. Symbol. Or whatever that is. Purple star. Whatever. It's close enough to cool. the sun, bro. Every, everybody's in sun, bro. And uh, where do you want to start? With the um, aggro token. You also I... have the first player token, by the way. That's, oh yeah, first player talking to me. I'm going to start, um, can't start on a node with enemies. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and start close. Right in the middle. And where do you want to start? Back in the corner, like a dirty dick. Yep, well, I mean, absolutely. And speaking of dirty dicks, we'll see you guys next time on episode three of Sandbar Wargaming's Let's Play of the Dark Souls board game. So until then, may you roll poorly. poorly.